Hi everyone and welcome to my session on the top tech trends, tools and skills to focus on in 2024. My name is Faye Ellis, I'm a Principal Training Architect at Pluralsight and I'll be talking you through our tech forecast and predictions for the year ahead. So what is this tech forecast? Well, we interviewed 3,000 executives, technologists and experts to uncover the top tech trends, discover the secrets of success and the skills needed to stay ahead in 2024. And spoiler alert, it is not all about generative AI. So in terms of the top tech trends, it's no surprise that we are all being asked to do more with less. So sustainability and cost optimization are top of mind for many organizations. Cloud security is going to remain a top challenge for 2024 with hands-on skills in Azure, GCP and AWS security being as important as ever. And then the third trend is all about translating investments in AI into real customer value. We found that 20% of organizations have already formally deployed AI related technologies and tools and 55% plan to do very soon. But the concern is how to translate the hype of AI into real customer value. And for many organizations, this can be done by leveraging services that are already augmented with AI. For instance, by using coding companions like Copilot or Code Whisperer, or by using image recognition or video analysis services that already have AI included. Now, when it comes to tech skills, we learned that there are three main areas in demand right now. The first is data skills or data engineering skills. So the ability to clean, transform and analyze data. To recognize when data is flawed, maybe it's biased or data is missing or incomplete. As well as the ability to select a machine learning algorithm to train and evaluate models and visualize your data to really start unlocking the business value of your data. And in terms of specific technologies, we found that SQL and NoSQL database skills are still in very high demand. As well as big data analytics technologies, technologies like Apache Spark, Databricks and Tableau, and machine learning libraries, for instance, libraries like TensorFlow and PyTorch. When it comes to programming, it's no surprise that Python came out top as one of the most in-demand programming skills for 2024. And I always think of Python as the programming language of the cloud. Of course, it's versatile and easy to use and suitable for use cases like web development, automation, data science, and AI and machine learning. But it's not just all about Python, because object-oriented languages like Java, JavaScript, and c -sharp are still going strong. So great news for all of us of a certain age who learned how to program many years ago, myself included. And then the third top tech skill is, of course, security, but cloud specific security. With 70% of organizations running more than half of their infrastructure in the cloud and usually using multiple cloud providers, a massive concern that we hear from our customers is how to secure everything. And cloud security is a persistent skills gap. So organization wide security experience came out as a top skill for organizations to develop, as well as hands-on experience with the top three cloud providers. And it's really that practical experience in understanding how these systems work and the shared responsibility model in terms of our responsibilities as customers that is going to give engineers that real world perspective on security. 
But let's not forget the soft skills in a world where many of us might be concerned about being replaced by an overly enthusiastic machine. Soft skills and human centric skills have never been more relevant. And I'm talking about skills in complex problem solving, creativity, critical thinking, empathy and communication, leadership, stakeholder management and negotiation. And really, the ability to be flexible and adaptable is going to be highly important for all of us as we move into the next phase of AI transformation. Now, if you happen to be a leader, or even if you're a mentor or a senior engineer, my challenge to you is to make it your mission to identify the future superstars within your organisation. Think about who in your organisation is your next data analysis expert, Python genius or security specialist. And I think sometimes we can see that little spark of potential in our team members before they even know it themselves. So if you are a leader or a mentor or a senior engineer, help the people around you to create development objectives, participate in mentorship programs, and maybe even think about introducing protected learning time in your organisation and incentivize your people to develop the expertise that you need within your organization. On to our secrets of success. So the secret source that we've identified that all successful companies have in common. First of all, a strategic plan focused on customer outcomes is key. So by defining business goals and the problems that you want to solve using technology, this becomes the North Star for your technical decisions. For instance, which cloud provider or service to use for a particular project. And in order to make those great technical decisions, organisations who want to stay on top also need a comprehensive plan for upskilling the organisation. Successful companies are also focusing on cost control. So protecting their return on investment or ROI. Going back to basics when it comes to architecting and designing cloud infrastructure in a responsible and cost efficient way using cloud cost optimization strategies. And each cloud provider, of course, has its own well architected framework of best practices, including recommendations for cost optimization. And there's also the ultimate guide to doing more with less, which is FinOps. And my prediction is that many more organizations will be embracing FinOps this year and beyond. And when it comes to AI adoption, for many organisations, understanding the cost implication of the decisions that we make around training models and how much data we're going to use to train our model using pre-trained models, customising models, and even the type of model that we select is going to be very important for making sure that we get a good return on tech investments. A continued focus on security is also required and many customers that I've spoken to are concerned that AI is going to accelerate existing security threats and introduce new risks that we just don't have today. With cloud security remaining a top challenge, it's also worth considering that AI and machine learning can also be used to help protect your environment as well. With machine learning becoming embedded in threat detection and intrusion detection services, now is really a time to lean in to leveraging AI and machine learning to help ramp up your cloud security. Which brings me nicely onto this concept of AI Plus as a shortcut to experimenting with AI. But also as AI expands into new domains and becomes part of the technology and services that we use every day. So foundational tech skills become enhanced through effective applications of AI. And we see AI plus cloud, AI plus security, and AI plus data science. So it really begins to enhance the way that we work every day. And this idea of being ready to experiment with and embrace the addition of AI into services that we are already using. New ways to upskill that keep learners engaged will become very important for all of us with personalised learning experiences 
surfacing the right content at the right time. Custom learning paths and bite-sized learning because there's never enough time to learn everything, right? But also learning that's focused on learner needs, augmented by chatbots and AI assistants that can help answer simple questions in real time. But most importantly, seeking out learning that's time efficient and targeted, so it's based on the learner's existing skills and career goals. And these are all things that you'll be seeing more of from Pluralsight, as we ourselves are also experimenting with AI right now. So ultimately, companies that want to innovate with the latest technology need to develop the skills to use it properly. And that means gaining hands-on experience to build practical skills and gain real-world experience. As well as embracing tools that are augmented with AI, like coding companions and AI-driven security protection, etc. And very importantly, not forgetting to develop our critical thinking skills, so that we're all in a position to properly analyse and evaluate the output of our systems for fairness, relevance and accuracy. Well, that is all for me. That's my lightning speed roundup of the top tech trends, tools and skills to know in 2024. 